Good morning everybody. It feels rather strange today that um, for once I've not got um, my headphones on and Skyping um, the other side of the uh, the world <coughs> over there in America on the Pacific Coast with uh, with Eric Ose. It uh, It's been a while. It feels like it's been a while since I last um, posted a, a, if you like, a solo video. Um, um, and I can only imagine that Eric Ose is having a, uh, a nice try trying to relax um, after the epic uh, over the weekend. Uh, I think he did th three very long Skype calls in a very short space of time with Carla Garcia. And that was obviously a, a great video um, to, uh, to have because it's, it's nice that we get to hear from other supporters. Then, of course, it was... Uh, Mark Hodinett, all the way from Australia, who uh, who skyped and and they had a long conversation, and then, and then to top it all, he invited me to uh, to to uh, have a conversation with him on. Uh, I can't remember what what day it was. I think it might have been early on the the Monday morning or the Sunday. I I I, I think it was on the Sunday. Yeah, but it, but it's, it was. It's been it's been a long week, and I know that um, Eric Cozy, um he was telling me this week has has been he's been particularly swamped at work. So as I say, I'm sure he's having a a lie down in a in a dark room somewhere. Um, one of the things that he mentioned uh, with Mark was the um, going to see a um, a professor of English to discuss the control question. Well, um, I'm sorry, Eric Jose, I've kind of usurped you there. Um, my pupils this morning, uh, their mother is the head of English at uh, the, the, the high school here, the Gallo Academy. So I took the opportunity of asking Sophie um, about the control question. And of course, it's, it's a, the, 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 there's nothing complicated about it. He went from um, saying, uh-uh, and shaking his head, that he hadn't seen a tattoo, to then, when when asked, do you disagree? No, <laughs> he doesn't disagree. Um, so so how how there can be any confusion there is uh, beggar's belief, because it's quite clear that he was he was quite happy to say whatever the um, Tom Fassbender and Mark Wiegert wanted him to to say, and of course um, it's quite right that um, Eric Ozy. Um, goes on about this control question quite a bit because it it is so important that the judges, the arm bank judges, could get it so badly wrong. Um, and th th this is this is the really worrying aspect of it. Of course, is the fact that why did they get it so clearly wrong? What what is their motives? What are their motives? Um, we'll, we'll wait and see. Um, now, as, as a lot of you know, um, the election for Sheriff of Manitowoc will be coming up later on this year. Uh, we hear that uh, my good friend Robert Herman is considering retiring because he'll have been in the job now 12 years. I'm sure his badges are well and truly polished by now because surely that's all he does is sit in his office polishing his big shiny badge and uh, criticising things like making a murderer when he hasn't even seen them. Um, so there, apparently a, um, uh, a Dan Hartwig has put his name forward. He's been with the Manitowoc Sheriff's Department now for about 20 years, apparently. Um, we'll wait and see what happens. Um, obviously, I was hoping that, uh, as, as Jerry Buting tweeted last year, that uh, Pete Bates would... Uh, would consider putting his hat in the ring to become the sheriff there, um, and that would that that would be absolutely brilliant. Obviously, um, however, what's what's even more? Well, I wasn't surprised about this to be honest, um, but of course um, Charlie Behrens is going to run for governor of Wisconsin. Yeah, Charlie of the Manitowoc Minute, but don't let Charlie of the Manitowoc Minute um, confuse anybody. Um, Charlie Behrens is a very, very keen political journalist. Yes, he's got a brilliant sense of humour. Um, 
as I say, I wasn't a bit surprised. Um, I actually said to him uh, quite a while back about, um, you know, the natural progression is from um, sort of political commentator to actually being involved in po politics directly. Um, now, I, I suspect um, that he'll be an, an independent, um, which would be good because clearly politics can be very divisive it polarizes people um and i, and I feel that that, that you, you we need, everywhere obviously needs needs people to unite behind their leader um i, I just think that charlie barons would make the, the the ideal leader over there in wisconsin um and and he would um definitely represent the people um he's one of them um He's very much in touch with what's going on. As I say, he's got a very, very keen political mind um, and <laughs> totally driven by ethics as well, which is, uh, which, which is, which is a very, very good thing. Um, what, what effect would that have on the um, Steve and Brendan? It, it might not have any, any, any great effect, effect at all. Um, you know, it's... Um, when I asked Charlie about making a murderer, his, you know, his, his, his main concern was the fact that it had um, painted Manitowoc in, in a very bad light. Um, and, and I'm sure that he'll try and, uh, and, and you know, promote Manitowoc and the rest of Wisconsin uh, the way he is at the moment um, with his Manitowoc Minute. Um, but I'm not expecting, you know, him to suddenly start pardoning loads of uh, convicted people um because that's that's obviously not 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 what uh, what should happen there there should be proper processes put in place to uh, to ensure that uh, Steve and Brendan uh, you know receive proper justice um but it'll surely help the fact that um Wisconsin would have an ethical governor um i'm just going to finish off by saying that um Myself and uh, Mark Hodinett over there in Australia have um, have designed a T-shirt in tribute to uh, Eric Cozy. Um, so I'd like to thank Mark for his brilliant design. Um, it's only in the planning stage at the moment. I've simply spoken to a firm over there in Manitowoc that could uh, produce the the items there will be a, a very very limited short run um and when when i've got more details i will uh, i will obviously divulge i'm hoping of course that uh that the uh, eric Cozy himself will uh, will adorn one of the t-shirts in a future video and then you'll be able to see it and you can judge for yourself um about the about the design of it um it's uh, as I say a, a little tribute to um, Eric Cozy, who has who has, has been on this case for um, well two and a half years. I suppose, in fairness, all of us that have followed since making a murderer are novices compared with some people who have followed the case right from the word go. Um, I'm on about, for example, We Angel, who I keep in touch with regularly about things going on um but certainly since making a murder has come out um uh, eric Ozy has worked tirelessly um to to produce his videos uh, taking the time to chat with me mark um and uh, carla and, uh, and 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 looking to 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 extend that to other people as well um and and i and i think um well I've, i think i've said it before but i think his efforts certainly need to be um, applauded um, and as I say rec recognized in in some small way by a a wee token of uh, certainly mine and Mark's appreciation for all that he's done thus far and I'm sure will continue to do anyway that's really all I've got time for today so um, catch you on the flip side bye for now